What's cracking, guys? Bruce Madsen here, your host of the show, Metro Scout Fantasy Football. My plan for the show tonight was to cover the official times and stuff of the Combine. Those aren't out yet, but friends of the show, my guy, one of my favorite wide receivers in this class. I got a few of them. I got a few guys stamped on Bruce Madsen's stamp of approval, but one of the main ones, as you all know, as you've probably been waiting for me to, to speak on, and I'm already doing it. Like, they're still doing drills and stuff. But I, I'm filming this right now. David Bell f fell on his face today. He, he fell on his face. He flatlined. It's not good. Six foot, 212 pounds. Official time of 4.65 on the 40. We knew he wasn't a burner. I've said that on countless videos. Been talking about him up and down for years on this channel or however long I've been doing it. And we know this. We went over the tape. We went over the metrics. Did a bunch of videos. Did a bunch of mock drafts. Talked about him on end. A couple times a week in front of this camera, we talked about David Bell. The 465 made things kind of real today. Is he going to fail in the draft? The 46540 is an indicator, it should not consider to be a value change in his overall valuation. One, that's already baked into his profile. However, it could be baked in to what the NFL values him, which could lead to his draft capital. And if he slips in the draft, we got another like Tyler Johnson situation from when he was at Minnesota, now he's with Tampa Bay, where everybody liked him. He was a good metrics darling, early breakout age, highly productive from a market share standpoint and next thing you know falls in the draft no man's land and he's, he's done this could be an indicator that could happen to david bell we don't know yet but right now i'm not changing things david bell's still one of my guys i still think he's a playmaker i still think he's a baller strong hands smooth route runner and i don't think he's slow i don't think he's a slow player we see it on film He's not a burner, but he's not a sloth either. And then time-wise, on field, miles per hour, from multiple different people, he's hitting over 20 miles an hour on certain runs, certain plays. So he's capable of running at higher speeds. High enough speeds to win the 40-yard dash at the Combine? No. We had some blazers this week. I'm going to talk about this whole combine in depth, the wide receiver portion, probably another video on the running backs, and so forth in the next couple days, so on and so on and so on. I'm probably going to talk about it a bunch because that's how I do it on this channel. might want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that. But David Bell, he failed the 40. He failed it. We weren't expecting him to run a 4-3 or 4-4 like the other guys. But we weren't expecting him to push towards a 4-7 either. We weren't expecting that. We were expecting a slow 40. We were expecting low, at the lowest, at the fastest, high 4-4s, four low 4-5s, four and maybe 4-5-5 four, four five five was probably the more likely range of outcomes to the 4-6 range. 4-6-5 isn't good. It's not good. It's not a burning speed. Is it a death knell? No. This guy is very tactical he's very aggressive on the balls in the air he can make plays happen if anything he can be a steal in the draft goes to the right team right situation could earn a role on the offense and the next thing you know could go off like firecrackers or just like tyler johnson falls in the draft gets buried will know come draft day Come draft weekend, where he gets selected, how the NFL values him, how we should value him. Right now, from what I've seen from the metrics, what we've seen from the tape, not moving him. Not moving him. We're still holding strong on David Bell. We got diamond hands. We got the laser eyes going. Full blast. DEFCON 1 on this bitch. We're still riding strong with David Bell until we see otherwise. And the only indicator that will cause me to devalue him some, which when I mean devalue him, it, really I'm just buying the dip. 
I'm just going to buy that dip at a cheaper price point. If he falls to the sixth round, fifth round of the draft, and he's falling drafts, guess what? I'm buying the dip. I'm buying that dip up. I'll buy him at a third round rookie pick. I'll buy him at a fourth round rookie pick. I'll buy him as a late second. I'll buy that dip all day. I'm not going to quit David Bell. He's still going to get there. He's still going to be on my rosters one way or another. He is not gone. He's got more like a Tyler Boyd in him. He's got more like a Devontae Adams in him than a slow wide receiver that busts. Draft capital is going to matter. Draft capital is going to be huge for his long-term player value when it comes to Dynasty. Because guess what? Next year, next year's draft, we're bringing another batch of receivers. And each year, it's not like it's going to be low on receivers. We may get one year here and there, but most of the time now, with how the game's played, you're going to get a group of receivers that's good. We've been having this year in and year out lately. I expect it to continue to be like this year in and year out. And wide receivers who don't kick it into gear quick are going to get buried. And that's what I'm scared of. However, we're buying the dips, baby. It's David Bell season still here. And we're going hard at it. He's still going to be ranked high. We're not moving him. We're hodling. Diamond hands approach still. And we're just riding the wave. If they're dips, we're just going to buy some more. If he falls, we're just going to buy some more. And we're just going to ride this wave to it either crashes or we go to the moon. But either way, we're holding on strong. But that's all I got for you today. I just want to drop my feelings on David Bell because I know a lot of people who follow the channel was wondering. I know they were thinking about me when they saw him run that 40. I know I was one of the first people that went through their minds. I had to come on camera Dress these issues like a man. Let you know I felt. But I want to thank you for watching Show Sting with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Every subscription matters. It fuels me to keep pumping out this content. Fuels me to keep you entertained. Are you not entertained? If you are, you better hit that subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you, and I'll catch you next time.